Okay, everybody, update from last time. As you can see, I've got everything cut in place. Uh, these ends here are not glued down. They're still a little damp. I may glue them down here in a minute. Uh, a lot of filling in here to do, but uh, this is cut. Uh, there's a couple spots right along in here I didn't cut too great. This other one goes right up against the rail nicely. Um, so I think once it's weathered and you get some cars and some details in there, probably not going to notice it. It'll look pretty good. Um, yes, I could have used plaster. Yes, I could have used smooth it. Just honestly did not want to work with it. This method was working for me up until my little snafu miscut back in here. You can kind of see it. Um, but other than that, that's it. I did initially paint this granite gray color was too light uh, almost a bluish like so I wanted darker gray something that would really do well with weathering and uh, this color really worked well um, also I did that came over here and redid the bar scene little pad here it's still drying also made a little stoop for it so when I set it in there it will have a little stoop so um, I think I think that'll be really nice I'm very happy with that for sure so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll continue to work on this and I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do here. Alrighty, so we're picking back up here around this uh, lumber yard pad here. Um, I do have a little bit of ballast. I just basically took some ballast around the side here to make it look like gravel around the side, match my road, fix my road back into there a little bit. Uh, did a little bit around my uh, road here, this part here. Um, I gotta do some more landscaping stuff, so I wait till I get the landscaping in place before I do all that. Um, I know I got some static grass here. I gotta clean all that up, of course, but right now it's just drying. I may go put some bushes and stuff along back here in my trees. I will wait right here to put some trees in uh, simply because uh, I'll just let that dry. And I'll probably put some trees back here, back here, over in here, definitely here. And here um, for sure and then here's gonna be the railroad ballast which is gonna be a totally different color um, than what you see there I got to clean out my switch there too so uh, that's what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna come back and uh, clean all this up probably you know what I'm just gonna let this dry guys that's what I'm gonna do so stay tuned guys I'm gonna let this dry overnight and we're gonna come back tomorrow after I clean everything up and continue on with uh, putting in some trees and putting the buildings back on here well okay this has set up overnight this is all in here dry hard I uh, just need to go back and get some of this off of here off the road uh, just to touch it up but um, a change of plans guys <laughs> I was gonna build another one of these little buildings and have the cars go between it which is fine um, I've got a whole different change of plan I kept looking at this building back here I had on my previous layout and um, it's a nice building I really really um, wanted to use it but just didn't have a place to use this so here's the plan for this it's gonna go where it was a minute ago I'm gonna paint it to match these other buildings I'm gonna paint the roof to green I think I've got my three tans I believe it was this one right here khaki was the one that I did use um, and then I'm gonna take this valley lumber sticker off and I'm gonna make a, a sign to put let me zoom out here uh, to put right in here this is static grass on here it's uh, sealed up and stuff of course I'm gonna ballast this part of it and clean all this up so that's what I have to do next um, and then I think that's what I'm gonna do and I think maybe work on possibly a fence along the back here or maybe along this side too and some uh, brush and shrub this cracked a little bit brush and shrub in there and you won't really notice that's cracked it'll kind of separate that from the road so I think that's what I uh, think that's what I'm gonna do guys um, also um, these these shrubs like this right here I'm gonna show you something I picked uh, uh, this is JTT. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. It's a it's a go over here. This this stuff here. It's called green foliage fiber. I just thought this was going to be like the ground foam because that's what it looked like the Woodland Scenics, but it was a little bit more in the package than Woodland Scenics, so that's why I bought it for the same price. Um, 
turns out this is more fiber because I didn't read it. It said fiber, duh. This makes some really good trees, and I'm going to show you. Here's one I made with an armature or stick out of the yard. Um, there it is. See that? I really like this. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit more of this, but I'm going to make a few more trees. I went along and found some more sticks like this, what I could get. Um, so look for that in an upcoming video. I'm going to make a lot more trees with this. I um, was really hoping I could find this color like this back here, the, the more olive green type color. I'm going to have to look for that Hobby Lobby, but this is five bucks. You can use a coupon on it. I get it for like three. So I'm um, definitely going to get some more of this stuff. Uh, this tree looks, I think, fantastic. So look for this tree is going out on this area somewhere. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here today. I hope to get this in and then weather this a little bit. That's going to really push this scene forward uh, farther than I thought I was going to get on it this weekend. Um, let me show you back here. See how these uh, stick up and I can form that stuff like uh, like small brush trees or something like that. I really like it. Works great back here too. So um, that's what I'm going to continue to work on when I paint this and, and get that off the stand because it's going to sit on this concrete pad. So that's why I have to weather it up as well um, and clean it up, get the get the ballast stuff off of it a little bit in some spots um put some little details and stuff in there so that's what i am going to do i'm going to continue to work on this i might come back with one more segment i probably will uh later today i'll show you how this is setting up and that's where i will end this update but it was a total different direction that hit me this morning you guys have probably had that before and I really like the way this is going to just finish this scene and this is going to look really good. Um, and then at the closing, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do coming this way because I got something recently in the mail. I don't know if I showed you guys, but it's going to go right here and then complete the scene going this way. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, I'll be back with the last segment. Okay, guys, continued uh, today. It's about as far as I got. I really put a lot of work into that little building back there. Painted it up to match it. It uh, looks great. I'm very happy with it. I did a lot of stuff to that. Still got some things to do. Put some supports in for this back part. Um, have to paint the propane tank, which I have right here. Paint it silver, weather it up. But uh, put in some trees and put in some lumber. Make some more lumber loads. Might make a fence around here, but for now, I did put in the trees in the back, as you guys can see. I did ballast the track back there as well behind it. Can't really see it. That is actually a different color than the ballast uh, right here. It's right in there. It changes, which is fine. I kind of like this new color better. Um, it's not quite as dark. And uh, right here you can kind of see it. it's drying. But I like that. I like it a lot. I think that looks a little bit more natural, I think. Um, put some more shrubs in, of course. Uh, put some trees put another tree in here and it was a little empty uh, put another little tree in there um, the trees back here some more brush in there to the road going back to the green facility put in a few more trees of course some more brush um, not going to ballast this little curve right here because I need to put a feeder in before that switch um, so we're going to do that, so I'm not going to glue that down yet. Plus, uh engine facility goes in. I can finish all that around there uh, in due time. So I'm going to continue on this way. One thing maybe I didn't show you, I'll come over here and just show you guys under here. I do have this uh, housing kit here that I'm going to make. I got uh, this off eBay. I don't know if I told you guys that. I got this off eBay for uh, $10, so great pickup um excuse me i'm gonna come back with the camera so it's gonna go right here on the curve and then behind it of course will be the cemetery all this is going in i've got some little things to pick up on ebay um care you know more um people to get for the city plus some uh, woodland scenics little scenes uh to fill that out over due time as well but going to continue working on this over the next week um but I uh, really like how this building came out, guys. I think this looks really well. Uh, painted it. It turned out nice. I got to put the smoke stack thing or whatever that is 
where they uh, pulp the wood or whatever they do there, weather it up a little bit, put some uh, figures in there, some lumber, but uh, that looks nice. This was the back where the propane tank was under this thing in the back or the side. You couldn't really see it. So I just thought I'd take that off, put that there uh, for the crew doing lumber or whatever they're doing. So um, touch this pad up a little bit and weather it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that for tonight and call it a day. But happy this scene's turned out really good. This this part of the layout's getting there rather quickly. <laughs> so uh, very happy with it. Uh, so... Hey, uh, I know no introduction again this week. I got to start get back to that and make some announcements. So, um, hey, I'll catch you guys um, this week. Also, link down below. Uh, please go to that uh, to help Vinny out. Um, as we all know, he's having issues with pipe. If you are not familiar with him, go to BNSF 6951's channel. Watch the live stream from the other night. Uh, for actually, from Friday night. It's past Friday and... Uh, You'll understand the situation. Um, he's a good person, helps a lot of us out. So uh, let's get together and help him out. I'll put a link to his uh, a link down there to donate for a broken pipe he has in his house. So, so guys, I will catch you uh, this week. And uh, hopefully on New Year's Day, I'll get a little time to work on this. And uh, I'll catch you then.